Hundreds of protesters dressed in black, armed with assault rifles and a passionate plea at Stone Mountain Park today, demanding the carving of Confederate figures be removed from the mountain. Those figures include Jefferson Davis, Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. And although some called it an alarming sight, police park police tell us they had no issues with that gathering. Jay Plyburn joins us live from the park with the latest. Jay. Hey, good evening. It's been an interesting Independence Day here at Stone Mountain, an area which usually sees about 4 million visitors each year, partially because of this unique monument behind me, a Confederate monument at that. And take a look at the video from earlier this afternoon. There were not originally many people here today. The park actually just reopened after closing for COVID-19. But this afternoon, more than 100 people showed up right here protesting the monument, which is one of the largest of its type in the country. The protesters were heavily armed, but workers with the park's public safety division said they had no issues with the group coming in to exercise their free speech. It's a public park, state park. Uh, we have these protests uh, on both sides of the issue from time to time. We expect people's First Amendment right to exercise those rights. Uh, we understand the sensitivities of the issue here at the park and the dark paths, so we respect that and uh, allow them to come in. And as long as it's peaceful, which it has been, uh, then that's fine. All right, and that was Jay Plyburn reporting for us from Stone Mountain Park today as those protesters were letting their voices be heard.